What's up guys, what's up guys? Um, I actually wanted to find out that there's something that's been on my mind and it's the new 6600 XT has come out and it's doing really well at the moment for Ethereum. We don't know how long Ethereum is going to be out at the moment but let's compare the two, 1660 Super and the 6600 XT. Now, some things have run through my mind. Right, let, let me show you. Alright, you sitting right there. Now, crypto miner. You, got, you see this page? You gotta like it. Because only 5% of you are liking and watching my videos. I need everybody to like and subscribe to this video right now. Do it! Or else, or else, crypto's gonna go dead. You don't want that, do you? Like and subscribe. Do it. Do it. All right. So what I've got here is, I've got, so we all know the 1660 Super is really good, really efficient. Uh, yeah, and then we have the brand new 6600 XT. And now that the benchmarks are out, and I'm gonna show you son of a tech, he, he did some, he went out, bought the 6600 XT, the cheapest one on the market that he could find at, uh, I think it was Micron, Microcent or something like that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so what I wanted to do is, I wanted to for myself see what is the difference what is the big difference between the two cards a 6600 xt and a 1660 super so if we go on to what to mine uh let's see i'm gonna throw this up for you guys i'm gonna minimize myself bam there we go all right if we zoom in yeah one 6600 uh, 1660 super does 29.3 mega hash we know it does 31.5 Got a small little calculation over here with the Excel spreadsheet. So there it is on the left hand side. Okay, so 1660 Super. At the moment, if we calculate that as six times 1660 Supers, that gives us 15 ish dollars a day. Let's just add it into what to mine. No, not 16, six. Calculate. Okay, 175, 189. We know that they do about 31 mega hash each. So as I've done here, Ethereum, 31.5 versus the new 6600 XT, which does 32.3. I'll show that to you guys now. And for six GPUs of a 1660 Super, and I just checked here. There we go. This is, buy it now, 1660 Super. There it is at 7,000 Rand value, which is $475. If you were to buy this now, I don't, I don't recommend you buy these. And of course this is um, no, let me just pop you guys up. This is no fan financial advice guys, no financial advice. But if you were to invest now, you'd be spending 7,000 Rand or $475 worth in six GPUs that'll cost you three thousand dollars and your hash rate will be 189 mega hash you're getting 15 dollars a day at 453 dollars per month which over 30 days your roi if you were to take the dollars invested three thousand dollars over the 453 dollars per month you'll be looking at 6.2 so six months and two days six months and three days as your roi without taking with, with without taking any electricity costs into into play yeah. so this is literally just what it's gonna earn as of today but yeah uh, next thing is I went on to what to mine to check out okay so here's eBay and this is the 6600 XT also buy it now price and we are easily looking at 9500 so there's six 6,500 rand value, but with the with the shipping included, I mean, that's gonna be like 9,295. So what I went with is, okay, that's fine, I don't mind, 92. There we go, $625 for that card. When the MSRP should be somewhere around 389 or 420. I'll jump into that just now if you guys wanted to check that as well. So here we go. Son of a Tech just did a video, um, literally a couple of minutes or an hour ago, and 
as you can see on screen, can you guys see that? Um, okay, well, I'm going to play it for you guys. Thirty-two mega hash at eighty watts at the wall. Okay, thirty-two point three at. Let's just go on the basic one, which is fifty-two watts. Again, not taking anything into account in terms of the the wattage. So, six six hundred sixty six six hundred XTs cost three thousand eight hundred dollars, whereas the six hundred sixty supers are three thousand dollars. They're not even rounding up. Now, your mega hash is. 10, 10 mega hash more, not even 10, maybe 5 mega hash more, so you're spending more, you're getting somewhat similar, and your dollar per month is still, uh, dollar per day is still 15.5, very little between the two, $465 versus $453, ROI is 8 months with a 6600 XT. And this is on Windows. We don't even know. We, nobody's really done any, from what I've seen, is nobody's really done any Hive OS updates or any settings like that to really check the mega hash on there. I don't know. I know Windows does a lot better with overclocking of the AMD cards. Hive OS just works with AM, NVIDIA and works well with NVIDIA from, from my experience. And yeah, I mean, it's clear as day. Which one are you actually gonna take? So, just to give a, a shout out here for, for Son of a Tech. Thanks, Son of a Tech, for really putting up the video. Been following him and actually he has the quest for the 6600 XT on one of his videos. So, thanks to him for doing a, a hash rate on this card. But, yeah, in terms of buy it now price, I would rather invest in 1660 Supers than the 6600 XT. That is my my thought process behind it and uh, this is what this is the conclusion I've come to is I would rather spend my money on 1660 supers than 6600 XTs and uh, that's at the moment that's as of recording today yeah I, I'll go with the 1660 super yeah <laughs> alright guys I don't have one to test um, in my local currency. There is no way I'm spending. Uh, oh yeah, local currency for a 16, uh, 6600 XT is $680. I'm sorry, but I'm not spending that. And for me to get a 1660 Super now is gonna be, I think the, the monetary value was about, yeah, 441. So if I was to even check that, new values ROI per month ROI is going to be 5.8 months compared to 8.7 months on the 6600 uh, XT there is no way I would be putting my money into that sure there's going to be a little bit more power I don't know that though we haven't seen any Hive OS um, overclocks or hash rates so I'll wait for that maybe I'll do an update on this guys give a Give a shout out in the comments. Maybe you, uh, maybe you want to see that. I'll follow up with that, and uh, we can go ahead and uh, sign off. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, just help out that algorithm. Press a like on the the video. Nice seeing you, and we'll check you next week.